You're listening to the family of Te Gita podcast. Message from Elder Akai. Crystal Craft. Beloved friends of light. In these moments of communication, I will be sharing the description of my favorite crystal craft. This is my personal design for comfort and ease as I traverse the galaxies as my playground. While this is not my only craft, I find it to be pleasurable as I speed through the ethers of all densities. Family and friends often accompany me with great joy. But I also travel solo and ponder life in all places. I spoke to beloved Aya in her current waking dream and asked if she would like to see my craft. As Judith with the soul and consciousness of Aya, she quickly spoke back telepathically with yes. The following is the vision that I laid upon her inner sight. This gift is for you, beloved friends. Enjoy until we meet again in Sheen. The sky is pink and lavender. The trees show an outline of black against the sky. It is peaceful and quiet and almost dark over the area. There is light in the distance. Then another which is brighter. Judith keeps her eyes closed in amazement. Visions have been spectacular before, but this one is very special. I am speaking to her. She knows me well. I am Elder Ikai, her mate on Te Geta. She is Goddess Aya. The crystal craft that I enjoy as Elder Ikai has all of the accommodations of home. Let's complete the outer structure in your understanding so that the inner chambers will become even more real. Breathe deeply and see what Judith saw. The lights grow steady and the shape of the craft becomes clear. It is crystal and it is alive with consciousness. It has awareness, power, and intention that is programmed by the chief commander of the Galactic Federation. I am Ikai and I carry the light of all existence within my crystal heart. The craft of beauty is love. This magnificent craft carries sacred souls to dimensions unknown to earth. Come closer and observe the intricate shape and many levels that come forth with my thought. The form would be as a pear shape to your understanding. An area opens at the top to allow another level to rise high into the air. This shape is artistic with extensions of mesmerizing curls and contours. Light shimmers in pastel colors throughout the clear quartz crystal. With a thought command, more openings form and the craft rises higher in opulence. Smaller areas rise and move in synchronicity with the command of light. This tower of living beauty is indeed alive with the power of majestic love. At last the final columns of light rise to a grand height with soft humming and frequencies heard and felt. The craft is a orchestra of living light. This is the place I love to be. Let's enter the magical light ship and enjoy all that is there in abundance. Relax and know that you are welcome here. Soon you will have your own crystal craft. The first room we will explore is a large area with white massage chairs that also emit frequencies to allow perfect rest and rejuvenation. I enjoy listening to soft music with dim lights that change from blue, gold and green. This can be stopped or amplified in color by my thoughts. Friends enjoy this area as we share news and ideas about exploration. Although I prefer alone time, the company of those that I invite are nourishing relationships. There is lots of laughter as we share moments. The area adjoining this room is a large crystal basin that is also a warm swimming pool. The water sparkles and swirls in light as we swim and dive with great joy. This area also is programmed with telepathy and music is chosen according to the ambience desired. Upward into another level is a large crystal kitchen. I enjoy this immensely as I prepare meals by telepathy. Having cuisine from the experience of races throughout galaxies is magnificent in experience. Indeed, I would enjoy dining with any of you. 
my family of Aya, Leka, Neo, Kabamur, and Akata have traversed areas of the cosmos and dined together many times as we reflected on our life of light. Higher we go up crystal stairs to a large room for leisure activities. Kabamur and Neo enjoy challenging games with magic and critical thinking. They both enjoy competing with one another with mutual love and respect. This is also an area for playing crystal instruments. We love all music and a variety of instruments. At times we create magnificent sounds. This is Leka's favorite area as he composes many melodies. Akatu enjoys dancing even if alone. We do love him so. Higher up crystal stairs, we enter Aya's favorite abode. This is a large room with pink crystal walls that is a meditation room. Communing with God, Ilako, is essential in the life of all Pleiadians. Aya understands this well and her strength lies in her inner world of being. She often spends time in this space alone in deep meditation. The upper chamber of my crystal craft is where I sit alone and program my ship. I spend most of my time connecting to souls on earth, in the Pleiades and with those in the higher realms. I am in constant contact with all commanders of the Galactic Federation as each one reports any changes to be noted. In one moment, I can enter a mothership and program my crystal craft to remain stationary. As you await the grand shift of the ages, I promise you that all that has challenged you will be worth it as you soar above the stars in your own crafts once again, look around and see me beside you. Indeed, only good is before you. Fly high in light. I love you so. En Iki Maiya. Elder Ikai, Chief Commander of the Galactic Federation.